couple of strands really. One, one of the, one of the things that happened um, from talking to the police in the community, they they were saying in the summer of a couple of years ago that they were worried about some of the games that young people were playing, and they were really concerned. It was a pack meeting that there would be a lot of antisocial behaviour in the summer. Um, while I was at Youth Fest, involved in activities, I obviously met um, Joe Ryan and some of the guys from Kenchin Junior Football Club. And um, talking to Andrew Morse, he was saying that Joe Ryan is a good coach, he's, he's keen to get involved in the community. From meetings with Joe and with Andy and with Martin, um, we developed an, in, an initiative to um, put on football coaching for the young people in Calston, which proved to be very, very successful. Very positive results from the police. Apparently, vandalism went down in the summer, um, and we were able to apply for funding through the Councillors' Initiative Fund, and also through Curo. So Brian Simmons, the local councillor, donated a lot of money towards that project, and also Curo did, and the town council's own involvement with providing youth workers to get involved into the project. Um, so it was really it came about by um, talking to talking to Joe and the team and some of the guys from Kenshin. Juniors. Essentially, this is a project for young players, led by young people, which is all about getting players to play football, but also getting new volunteers for the future. It's an excellent project, and the numbers have been increasing all the time. It's great to see so many here today. I think it should be helped is there's nothing to do for the kids in the summer. They're too old for the ones like play association projects and they need something to do. It also enables them to meet other children of their age they wouldn't normally meet through people visiting, coming in from outside. Right, the, this sort of initiative is important to Curo, um, as well as being a social housing landlord, it's important to us that we invest in our communities. Um, we're not just about houses, we're about creating uh, sustainable communities, communities where people are happy, people want to live in. Um, so doing an initiative like the one behind us, uh, it's investing in young people um, and giving them something constructive to do during the school holidays. is to have a quality flat playing surface for the kids to play on and uh, remove the potholes and have a nice pitch that everyone can enjoy together. Jack, what do you think the project's all about? For me, uh, it's about providing opportunities for the kids like you can see there. Um, they're not always from the most affluent backgrounds or the, or the best sort of um, best areas and they don't always get the opportunity that, that other kids can get. So school holidays, um, lots of downtime, lots of potential time to do stuff. Sometimes they can be priced out of, uh, of activities. So a free you know, football activity that's on their doorstep is...